Arena, mandatory evacuations underway for areas along the upper Texas coast through to western Louisiana ahead of Hurricane Laura. Justin Horn is in High Island, Texas, just east of Galveston with the latest. Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Horn here in High Island. We're in far eastern Galveston County, just east of Galveston here along the coast. And this is an area that got hit very hard back in 2008 by Hurricane Ike. In fact, this cross here behind me memorializes those who lost their life in that storm. They had a storm surge of about 20 feet during that hurricane. Tomorrow's storm surge is going to be more in the range of 7 to 9 feet, but still dangerous. The bigger storm surge is going to be farther up the Texas coast and into western parts of Louisiana. A lot of people are heating that warning moving to higher ground and some people are opting to stay. I have cattle not far from here and we've my family's never left. I got family here, livestock here, so we generally just ride it out. You feel pretty good about it then? I do. I do. Uh, where we're at, you know, we can get some bad winds and everything, but we're, we're pretty well prepared. And coming up later today, we're going to be moving over to Beaumont, which is an area that is expected to see more of an impact from Hurricane Laura. Winds could be up to 115, 120 miles per hour as it moves right along the Texas-Louisiana border. That's where we think it'll make landfall. Hey there, everyone. We are in Beaumont at the staging area for Hurricane Laura. This is where all the emergency service vehicles are gathering to prepare for what they need to do when Hurricane Laura hits. Uh, you can see over my shoulder here, there's a lot of ambulances from all over Texas. We saw one from Valdi. We've seen some emergency personnel from Shirts. This is also the area where buses are picking up people and taking them to higher ground, evacuating them and getting them out of harm's way. Uh, this is going to be a busy place uh, through tonight. And we made it over to Port Arthur. We stopped at this gas station here behind me. They are locking up all the pumps at this point, uh, locking the station down. This area is under a mandatory evacuation, so a lot of people are getting out. We did talk to some people who are staying, though, uh, and they're prepping, getting ice, stuff like that. Uh, this is an area that's probably going to see some damage as we get into tonight and into tomorrow. Hey there, everyone. We've moved on to Port Arthur. We're here along the ship channel. That's here behind me. It runs... Uh, right along the city of Port Arthur. And this is a levee you see here that uh, really protects the city from extreme storm surge. And it looks like uh, they're gonna get some significant storm surge here tonight, but hopefully uh, does not top this levee. Uh, I think there will be some wind damage here. Right now the sun is out and things are quiet. Hey there everyone, meteorologist Justin Horn here. We are in Orange, Texas now, behind me, the Sabine River. This is the river that separates Texas and Louisiana. So on the other side of the river there, that is Louisiana. Hurricane Laura is expected to bring some direct impacts here, some very strong winds. We will likely see some damage here in the city of Orange, Beaumont, Port Arthur, uh, the Golden Triangle as they call it. We're gonna hunker down here in Orange, Texas. We'll continue to bring you live coverage tonight and into tomorrow. We are tracking Hurricane Laura this noon. The storm is now expected to power up and become even stronger than first expected. Right now, the hurricane is expected to hit the Texas Louisiana coastline. Cars backed up on the highways as people evacuated. Many right now bracing for some nasty weather. Our Justin Horn is live in Orange, Texas. That's near the Sabine River. Justin, what can you tell us at this point? Hey there, guys. Yeah, we are in Orange, Texas. Behind me, this is the Bean River. This separates Texas and Louisiana. So across the river over there, that is Louisiana. Uh, this is an area that is expected to take a direct hit from Hurricane Laura. Evacuations are underway here, and we've seen a lot of people heed those warnings. We've seen some people uh, opt to stay. A little bit earlier, we were in Port Arthur, and we talked to some folks there who had decided to stay. Take a listen. The main concern is, you know, trying to get out and get stuck in traffic somewhere where we can't yeah. get any further and depending on somebody else and being crowded in with a bunch of people that's got COVID. So COVID playing a role in all of this, too. Where we stand right now here in Orange, we're starting to see the first rain band move in. The winds picked up a little bit, but we think the winds will pick up a whole lot more tonight. And where we are, we're a little further inland, and that's good news because the storm surge is expected to be life-threatening, not only where we are further down towards the coast, but also in uh, western parts of Louisiana. That's where it could be life-threatening, huge storm surge 
We're looking for winds somewhere around 100 miles per hour, perhaps stronger as we get into tonight. We'll continue to bring you live reports from here in Orange. Guys, back to you. Justin, what it, what's the feel like out there? Are you seeing a lot of people evacuate? Does it feel like a ghost town at this time? What are you feeling out there? You know, it's interesting. Covering Harvey, a lot of people left, and it felt like a ghost town. It does not feel that way this time. We've seen a lot of people stay behind, whether it be because of COVID or other reasons. A lot of people here have seen storms recently, or at least in recent memories. We're talking about Rita, uh, Ike, uh, even Harvey dumped a lot of rain here, and they feel battle-tested. They feel like they can make it through this. It's not advised, but a lot of people, or at least some people, are choosing to stay. Hey there, everyone. Meteorologist Justin Woody here back with you. We're on the Serene River here in Orange, and we're starting to get reports now down uh, near Sabine Pass, which is down the river on the coast. That's where we're starting to see water rises of two to three feet. So already some storm surge underway that's happening also out in Louisiana, where they're gonna see some just devastating storm surge on the site uh, with the storm. Where we are right now, winds are starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, not a big deal yet, but it will become an issue later this evening. You know, the other thing too, we've seen quite a few people staying here in Orange. They're not evacuating. And we're just hoping that everyone stays really safe as a protected place to go because I do think uh, it can get fairly dangerous tonight with these winds uh, going to be very strong potentially, maybe even up around 120 miles per hour here. Well, just Justin Horn and photojournalist Bill Caldera join us from Orange, Texas, east of Beaumont. Yeah, Justin, what have you seen over the last 18 hours? How are you noticing that Laura is announcing her presence shortly? You know, so far, we haven't seen much. We've had one rain band where we got some gusty winds and a little bit of rain, but we think that it's going to get much, much worse tonight. Right now, uh, the waters are still pretty calm. This is the Sabine River here behind me. Now, down the way in Sabine Pass, uh, close to the coast, the water has come up two to three feet. We're starting to see a little bit of water rise here, uh, and we'll see it back up into this river probably later tonight. We're going to hunker down, find a safe place to be, and make sure we're safe from this storm, but we'll also be bringing you live updates uh, as Laura moves closer, a massive storm as it's heading towards the Texas-Louisiana border.